Well, thanks everybody for organizing this. Uh, we're, so we're a six year program, we're five years clinical, one year research. Um, there's three residents a year for the last couple of years. You know, our goal, we, we write all this stuff down, but our goal is to give the residents the best possible opportunity to succeed. Um, we want, whether they wanna do academics and become superstars, whether they wanna do private practice and be able to come out of residency and be able to do a robotic procedure, skin to skin, be in clinic, be confident, do open surgery. Um, we want them to do it. And we, want to do, we want them to do it in an enjoyable manner. I mean, five to six years of your life is a lot of years. Um, and, you know, if you're not happy in the prime of your life, it's not worth doing urology or being a doctor. Um, you want to enjoy it. You want to um, soak in everything that you offer. You have a time in your life where you have all these faculty, whatever program you go to where they want to um, teach you. They want to give you all their knowledge and, and uh, help you on your journey. So how do we develop the structure? You know, just like the, you know, the other programs saying you need multiple people in every specialty to kind of do it. And we have a very diverse uh, faculty um, from all over the country who have trained in, and, and we're also blessed to have every type of subspecialty and more than one faculty in each subspecialty that's able, you know, you can, you can learn from them. You can find ways you're like, Oh, I love this way that he's doing it. Or I hate this way that she's doing it. And you can, you know, pick and choose and develop the way you want to do and structure yourself. You can do research and you can learn to do, um, ways of educating yourself, depending on uh, what your, um, you know, what your interests are that you develop over time. We also have a great research base. Dr. Ghazi is going to talk about it. Um, PhDs, uh, combination academic and clinical um, specialists in all fields. Um, so you don't have to be sent to doing just a couple of things. We have multiple um, research opportunities um, throughout, whether you're an intern or you're in your research year or your sixth year. Um, you know, we have, ours is six years. The first year is like everybody else, six months of urology, six months of general surgery. You have to do that. Um, it's part of the rules. Um, our second year, we actually do three to four months of surgery, just like uh, Dr. Kogan said, you know, we do transplant. We're gonna do interventional radiology. Um, your intern year, you don't get to do as much laparoscopy or do bowel resections and urology is a, you know, has a lot of that. And so we, we let them do a couple of months of general surgery to get that experience um, so they can build up that, those building blocks. Um, we have a specialty mentorship rotations. So we found in the last couple of years, and the residents love it, where if you, you have one resident following one to two faculty for the course of one to three months on different rotations and each focusing on uh, a specialty. And if you do that and you're with that same person or same people for the course of one to three months, um, you develop trust, you develop bond, you, you realize what you don't know in the field and you're able to study, you're able to uh, bounce things off the attendings. They trust you more in the OR if they're working with you every day. And, uh, and, and it just develops confidence and it, it ingrains them with a knowledge base that they're able to uh, go forward as, as they gain more knowledge and experience. This is a kind of an example of our structure. As, as one would expect with, you know, over 25 uh, faculty and 14 residents, you're going to get cases. And, and I know there's more important stuff as you learn as a resident than just cases. Um, but that's one of the things that people do urology for. And, and our, our, and our residents over the years have, you know, have been in the 95 percentile in the number of cases that they do. Um, and, and it just helps them with whatever they want to do. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about research, but you know, our research year, you can do clinical research. You can do basic research. We have all the setups. We, you can get, we've had people get their MPH. We've had people get their MBA. We've had people go on international uh, time away uh, to countries all over the world uh, to learn uh, about global medicine. Um, so the, the possibilities are endless. We've had residents who, who have shined in, as residents internationally renowned because of it. We had Janet 
She taught her own course as a resident at the AUA, which I thought was very impressive. Matt um, helped develop the knowledge that cribriform pathology in prostate cancer is aggressive and was a, I was going to say a resident expert, but you know, a, a national expert in, in this where he get questions while he was a resident while I was operating on him. He was getting questions all over from the world. Historically, um, about 50% of our residents go into academics, 50% go into private practice. In the last five years, we've had 70%. And uh, the one, one of them next year is going into reconstruction. So we have, it's not just one specialty, it's a bunch of different specialties. It's some of the best places in the country to do a fellowship. Um, and, and I think it's a testament of what uh, we've developed here at Rochester to, to make it um, succeed. You know, we have a great group of residents. They, we try to, you know, try to choose people that get along right, and are happy with each other. It's a long course and you want to be happy already. and uh, <clears throat> you know the fact that they want to hang out not just uh, in urology just I think just shows you that they're, they're happy in what they do they even sleep together uh, and in synced up as the uh, interns from last year so this is a great platform to learn about our programs and I'm great we did it uh, I'm happy we did it but you really learned that the little intricacies of the program talking to the residents um, and uh, without the faculty involved. And so we have three open houses scheduled um, in the next coming months. I, I, I'd love for you guys to join us. I'll talk for a couple minutes um, and then I sign off and it's you and breakout rooms with the residents answering all the questions you really want answered uh, without uh, us getting in your way. And we have a virtual sub-internship as well for August and September, if you're interested. You know, we put our stuff out in social media. Um, and so uh, that's it. I appreciate the time and we'll, we'll, go to, we'll go to Buffalo.